morning and my initial plan was to talk about how do you build a social business, which isn't that easy a topic to talk about, but somewhere down the line it changed. So uh, what I'm going to talk about more is how do you transition from being a nerd to a social entrepreneur, or if you want to rephrase it, uh, most of us are engineering students out here. So where is engineering and social entrepreneurship? Is there a place where they actually meet at all? Uh, so when I walk down the street anywhere, it's easy for people to see and guess that I might be an engineer. Glasses, disheveled hair, never really formally dressed, and so on. Uh, and, and I am. I'm, I'm, I'm proud to be one. But uh, how is it that I actually transition into social entrepreneurship is something I'll talk about a little more as well. So it all began with okra. Or I don't know if, how many of you like bindi or okra as a vegetable. Uh, but the story of me as an engineer started with that when I was about what, five? So this was in a small, small town in eastern UP. Uh, we used to get a, a local teacher to come, us, come and teach us science and maths and other subjects. The specific day, I, was, I wasn't quite well. So while others, my siblings, got homework to do, my, I got away with having to paint something that he had drawn, which happened to be the okra. Uh, and it just so happened that uh, I didn't have green color. I mean, I had blue, yellow, other colors, didn't have green. Uh, I pondered over a little bit, figured out how to, try to, trying to figure out how to actually, should I go and get green or should I do something else? And uh, voila, I mean, I realized I could, if I mix blue and green, I get something like blue and yellow, I get something like green. And that's what happened. I got green. And that was, to me, if, if I go back in my lifetime, that was really the first moment where I felt like I had achieved something and uh, probably had the first high of problem solving of sorts. Uh, thereafter, sort of, my life was a little more of a traditional route, uh, hardcore academics, a few whatever academic merits, uh, went on to engineering. So we in India normally have a very sort of predictable career track, or that was the case about a decade ago when I was a student like you. So, uh, sorry? So we, we, uh, I was pretty good at my studies. After class 10, you, what's the first choice you make, whether it's science or commerce, right? If you're good at studies, you generally end up with science. Take a science. Science, may, what do you do? Uh, medical or engineering? If you like maths or physics, you go for engineering. So that was what it was for me. So engineering, uh, maybe 10 years ago, 20 years ago, it was more about that. It's, now it's a little more of, of, of the latter. But engineering, nonetheless, computer science engineering. Uh, again, a little more predictable route. Uh, engineering. Did my, did my B tech from ID Kanpur. Uh, if you're, again, good, you apply for further studies. Uh, sort of what, what should have been my PhD at MIT. And, and um, that's when a few things started happening with my life. One is I realized I wasn't necessarily as happy as I thought I was doing what I was doing. Uh, it was fun research, fine, but I wanted to do something which was a lot more immediately impact. I mean, the impact was a lot more immediate. Uh, the research I did, maybe 15 years down the line, it, it went on to, it would have gone on to affect, uh, to make life better. But maybe I, I didn't have that much patience. I wanted something where I do something, maybe in a few months there is some benefit available. So interestingly, in, in, in the US, I, I got involved with a lot of campus-based organization working on development issues in India. So uh, I don't know how many of you would have experienced this. Uh, the, the sense of identity, uh, especially as an Indian, becomes a lot stronger when you're outside. At least happened with me. Uh, so if, uh, whenever I was in a meeting or a discussion and people talked about various issues and I see, saw somebody criticizing about India, I would, something would happen in me that I would, like, I would want to sort of argue with that person. So, um, so I knew if I had to do something in the development sector, it probably would be India because that's the identity I recognize the most with. Uh, to, to get sort of a quick peek, I worked with a couple of, I sort of volunteered with a couple of organizations while a student, and uh, that was it. So I said, fine, let me, let me actually taste the real thing. So uh, I wasn't still committed enough to come back to India. Uh, that, uh, as Ajay would probably also know, would require a lot of commitment to, come to, make, uh, to make that decision. So let me start off.